Hey folks, um, I may have mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but I recently got Sly Flourish's Lazy Guide, the Lazy Dungeon Master Guide. And uh, I may have mentioned about trying to do a review on that. And um, I think, you know, it's a good piece of material and you should probably buy it. Um, so well, I'm going to cover some things. I'm certainly not going to dip into his actual materials necessarily. Uh, he comes off off the top with the mantra of Lazy Dungeon, Dungeon Master, which is to prepare only what benefits your game. Makes sense to me. But he puts the question, if you're doing that, then what can you stop doing or stop planning, preparing for? Uh, in there, he references The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. I'm going to have to check that one out. Uh, he mentions three things that you should focus your prep on. And uh, this reminded me of a couple of things, verb, object, and location, like sentence structure. But uh, more specifically, it reminded me of a, a DM's block episode where they talk about using Magic the Gathering cards to build an adventure. Pull three cards at random, who, what, and where. I've actually done that uh, for my uh, RuneQuest role-playing in Glorantha campaign, which I haven't started yet. Still trying to get some players. Um, uh, but I've already got, you know, it's actually four scenarios. I, I, I did a like a tarot card reading, the three by three, you know, nine card deck pulling, you know, random, random, random kind of stuff. And I pulled these things together, got a, a, a trilogy put together. Uh, the trilogy actually led to, you know, a fourth one actually occurring. So we'll see how that all works out. He mentions to eliminate what does not matter most, which goes back to the whole mantra piece. Prepare only what benefits your game goes into what makes a good villain, which are great advice. Uh, to focus on the adventure. I think it's a journey. I think I might, might have written that down wrong. To focus on the journey of the adventure. Uh, he talks about frameworks for building uh, encounters and stuff. And uh, some uh, shortcuts for establishing the traits and character characteristics of your world. There's a whole section on encounter design and a little piece on using loot for more than just reward, which I thought was cool. In his book, he's got a number of appendices. They're all toolkits to use. Uh, they're generally tables of 1 to 20 for all kinds of different stuff, right? Which is a great idea. It won't work for my world because my world is, is different enough that those kinds of things won't really apply. But the concept is still a great idea. And then he finishes up the book with questionnaires to 10 dungeon masters who have run many D&D &D games. You know, how they do stuff, what's good, what's bad, what they found was helpful, what they thought went well, you know, that kind of stuff, right? But two parts out of that were prioritizing preparation. If you only had 30 minutes to prepare, what would you do first? And that kind of thing. And if you read through uh, the whole questionnaire piece, you'll get, you'll figure out what it is that they would do by the time you get to that, that section. Um, but they also... Um, have a, a one of the questions was useful tips, tricks, and tools, and that I pulled a lot from. I thought that was great, and there were a lot of ideas I was able to pull and trying to implement myself in my own game. Fairly short, but that's because you know I didn't want to get in his material. Oops. Buy the book, have a game in. 